Okay, so here's another argument for why the marginal rate of technical substitution, that is the slope of the isoquant, is so important for production efficiency. They have to equal each other to be productively efficient. And so let's see a simple example of what would happen if they weren't equal, okay? That doesn't rely on graphs, if you're not a thinker who likes to look at graphs. All right, so this is the slope, basically, of the food isoquant, and we're saying it has to be equal to the slope of the shelter isoquant, okay? What if they weren't equal? What if the slope of food was three and the slope of the other guy was just one? Okay, well, what is this information telling us? This thing over here, when it's equal to one, is saying one unit of capital can be replaced by one unit of labor and vice versa. And maintain output. Okay, so to stay on the same isoquant to make the same amount of food. If I lose one unit of labor, I can replace it with capital. If I use lose one unit of capital, I can replace it with one unit of labor. I'm on that part of the isoquant. For this guy over here, all right, this is saying that the slope of the isoquant is three, meaning if you give up one little unit of um, labor, you need three units of capital to stay on the same production level, okay? So, because, uh, yeah, one unit of labor can be replaced by three units of capital. Or, we could equivalently say one uh, unit of capital can be replaced by one-third laborers or just one-third of an hour of their time you know there's people don't come in thirds but their time does okay and the, again and maintain output and so the idea here is that there's this possibility of productive exchange okay if these guys give up one sorry where's my thing here if these guys give up one unit of capital and give it to those guys, they need to be given back one-third a laborer to be just as well off, okay? But these guys over here are getting one unit of capital and they're only giving up one-third one of a laborer. They would have been willing to give up up to a full laborer and still been able to keep their output. So that means that they are able to basically jump off of their isoquant and produce at a higher level. And because we have maintained production of food and increased production of shelter, we're in a situation where there was no trade-off, we got more of one without sacrificing any of the other, and we were not at a productive, efficient point.